Hello, Michael. Hey, hello, Lulu. How is Malaysia? It's good. I'm down to my seven-day countdown, so I'm going to be home in seven days. And uh, this week, I'm doing my certified facilitator program. That means I'm going to be certifying people to teach law of attraction the way I do. And I have people from four countries coming. I'm very, very excited. And I've been on tour here for 30 days teaching the message of law of attraction. And it's just been the very, very receptive here in Asia and Malaysia. So I love my life and I love doing this work. It's very fun. Yeah. And I love reading my Facebook and your Facebook with everybody's comments and how grateful they are. So that's a, that's a, that's real satisfaction for me, you know, and particularly for you for letting people see a vulnerable coaching session and yet people are taking notes on your coaching session and getting value. So I'm feeling very fulfilled doing this. And it actually inspired me that I want to start uh, doing other coaching sessions live so other people can pick up the message. So I think in December I'm going to run a little contest to see who gets live coaching sessions with Michael on Skype. That's pretty and, uh, cool. So I want to announce that on my Facebook. So welcome back to Chicago. Thank you, thank you. Now we have a bigger time zone than ever. Yeah. <laughs> For this, I think it's the fourth session of our Delivered Attraction series. Yes, yeah. So it's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning for you, for me, on Wednesday, and it's your Tuesday night. So we, may, we have a little window that we can play, and uh, so we made it possible to be able to do this. And, and I want to show you my first manifestation. Can I show you? Can, yes, please. <laughs> that is awesome. That is one of my viewers that sent me that. She said, I found this little bus for you and I want to send it to you. That is helping you be in the vibration of the way you want it to be. That is so cool. So I don't want exactly to attract this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. But right now, if you if you calibrate how you're feeling about it, law of attraction doesn't know the, the style of the bus that you want. And, and it's not saying, oh, that's not the bus. You know what it hears? Excitement bus, excitement bus. So it's responding to that. So just be in the vibration of it. <laughs> I also want to say there was a, uh, I, I think his name was Danny. The, there was a guy that sent in a video thanking us. Uh -huh. And did you see what he did at the end of the video? He claps like this. <laughs> So this is the Michael Lilu, I love my life clap. Yeah. So you know what? This is an important thing. I want everyone to hear it. Law of attraction isn't going to manifest that exact bus, but it helps you be in the vibration and the excitement of it. You know how people talk about, oh, this is such an important message too. You know how people talk about you need to get a feeling of it? And they say, I don't know how a bus feels. Well, it's not the bus that you're feeling. It's the excitement about being in the bus. Mm -hmm. For example, um, we, we could attract anything really easily, something small that we don't have any doubt about. And people say, we, you have to get a feeling of it. If you and I gave a lot of attention right now to colored crayons, and we talked about colored crayons, and we pictured them and visualized and had fun about colored crayons, I don't know what a colored crayon feels like, but we could still attract it. So it's not the item that we need to get a feeling for because colored crayons don't have a feeling. It's the excitement about the energy around it. So uh, you can thank the person that sent that because this is a significant role for you. Mm -hmm. In my book, I talk about having a vibrational bubble and law of attraction is eavesdropping inside this bubble all the time to find out the vibration that it's sending. So if you're not giving attention to the juicy living tour, it's not building the momentum around that. I'm, so I'm seeing it's, even more buses than before. I mean, all around town, everywhere is just buses, yeah. buses, and I'm I'm just seeing it with the logo and just the excitement of seeing those buses around. Yeah. That's it. They have whatever they have on it. Usually, actually, they have pretty much nothing on it. They're white, and they have just yeah. like a little stripe. And I and it's I'm I get thrilled many times a day. Yes, and part of that, you know, part of the whole process about law of attraction, removing the doubt, because the speed at which you'll manifest this is in direct proportion to how much doubt you have. So part of it is proving that you're lining up your energy. So you could point at it and say, that bus is there because of me. In other words, you've lined up your energy to match it. Now, the bus would have been there anyway, but the mere fact that you're giving it attention, you start to notice it. So that's part of celebrating. Law of attraction really is at work here, and everything from your awesome graphic artist that has just captured you to a T to attracting this bus 
and all the other great stuff that we're going to talk about today. So, and, um, so I, I did want to pick up on today's call because last week's subject was about infrastructure. And, uh, and the other day in the car, I have three, four people that are supporting me here in Malaysia. And we got driving and then I was telling them about the interview and I said the word infrastructure and they all did this. And they, they, it, they got it and they said, well, tell us more about that. So what I'd like to do is recap about infrastructure and then find out what your thoughts were about that. Okay. So what I mean by infrastructure is all the things that need to be in place for this to happen. So at one point you said, oh, I want to be on a tour on a bus and so on and so on. I said, oh, did you have the logo done? You said, no, not yet. And even if Law of Attraction pulled a bus out in front of your house and honked its horn, you wouldn't have been ready to do that. So um, you can see that I'm pointing down. Here is the goal and here is where you're at. So there's a distance between where you're at and where you want to be. So we need to put the infrastructure in place so you're ready when the bus does pull up in front of your house. I'd love to be there. Matter of fact, I'd love to be driving the bus. Yes, the you're hired. <laughs> I'm hired. Oh, you don't want me as a bus driver. <laughs> so t tell me that conversation about uh, the infrastructure and, and what thoughts and things happened around that. Uh, some of... Well, you mean the things that were not in place for for it to help the yeah yeah so 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 what is what have you put what infrastructure have you attracted or put in place since understanding that you needed to have infrastructure uh the, I've attracted the graphic artist for the logo um, uh, we have gone to a, a new level uh, about the team like the dream team that is needed um so the logo, the dream team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to be working on more infrastructure for you. Mm -hmm. And I just want to make sure that you understand why we're doing this. Uh, the goal is for you to be on the bus, right? That's the end result. Law of attraction cannot put the bus in front of you. And it's not because you have a resistance in receiving it. It's because there's things that aren't in place to make that happen the way you want it to be. And I know it's going to take team members here. You know, the success of my business is because I have team members. Right. And I have, that love to do the parts that they do. Mm -hmm. And we want to create that for you. We want to line up your energy uh, so you can attract that. And there, there is no, um, I mean, there's no bus right now. And that's one of the things where I would, I mean, I have pretty good vibration, but there's still some things probably to reset. And also what has changed is that Sharon that was taking care of that that was going to handle the <clears throat> the sponsorship to is not really working on that so okay. she's working more on the strategy of the tour which she was before and we're still now so right now we're at a stage where we're developing the website of the tour yes um so that's what we're working on we're also you know creating a, the, the the brand the umbrella brand which is going to be Lilu's productions or the juicy you know, living productions, because now everything is, is like, and that, because that's part of the structure, you know, creating uh, the different companies and the different setup, and there's just so much that has opened up, and yeah. and we're not even at a stage, I mean, for me, like, I, I would, you know, I would really love to have somebody actually working 100%, like a salesperson, giving their time, or or a, a sponsor manager that is really going after all those. Um, right. Sh Sharon has a major with a, a Coca-Cola, you know, a sponsorship meeting tomorrow. Yes. Um, so that's great. And, you know, things like that are happening, but there's not somebody dedicated to it. And I feel that's, that's missing right now. Okay, and good. the date is coming, you know, and that's also like, ah, there's many worries you know there. Get rid of the date. We had this conversation before. What's happening now is that you're keeping score that you're not there yet instead of celebrating all the things that are in alignment to that. Does that make sense? That's the whole thing. You know, on my website, I have an article about uh, why it's not really healthy to set goals with dates. Uh, setting goals helps because setting goals sets the energy in motion. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I want the juicy living tour. This is happening. This is happening. This is happening. Oh, but I only have seven days left. Do you see how the negative vibration of your keeping score has canceled out the desire? So today, part of my past uh, experience, I was a project manager. So there's a term in project management. It's called critical path. In other words, there's, remember the, the hands? 
There we go. There's something in the path that's critical for you to move forward with, and you just said what it was. What do you think that is? What's on your critical path? The, the, the time frame. Yes, but what's on the time frame right time now? Time limit. Uh, no, the answer I'm looking for is sponsorship. Yeah, but... Without sponsorship, actually, you're not going to move... You, go yeah, ahead. but I've moved a little bit away from that, I have to say, the past weeks, because I do have my plane tickets going to Santa Fe. And for me, the tour is starting, you know, as soon yeah. as I'm getting there. Bus or no bus, sponsor or that's no sponsor, you know, yeah. so that's unconditional is that I'm going for it and I believe the energy can be even more so in motions once I'm there. You know, I'm touring Malaysia. I don't have a bus, sweetie. Exactly. I don't have a bus and I'm touring Malaysia. I've probably spoken to 7,000 people in the last 28 days and I don't have a bus. So I love the Juicy Living Tour bus idea, but it might be the, the end vision. Before that might be somebody that says, hey, we'd like to take you in our limousine. Would a limousine be okay for the first part of the tour? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, so this is good. The contrast that you're experiencing is birthing some clarity. So you do have a, de a, a deadline or an idea in mind. So uh, I think there's other ways around for you to start the tour uh, without on the, the bus. The other, the other way would be to get sponsorship from hotels and car rental companies, things like that. Yeah. You know what? When you do a search on the internet, do you tell the internet where to go find the information you're searching for? No. So when you put a submission to Law of Attraction, is it your job to tell it where to go find it? No. So what's, what's your, see, you want your job? Is, <laughs> are, you, are you feeling scolded? You know what your job is? Your job is to uh, identify your desire and yes. set the energy in motion. And Law of Attraction's job is to reply to it. So I, I want everyone to hear this in yourself. When you do a search on the Internet, you identify what you want. You don't type in what you don't want. You say, I want this. You press enter, which is submitting the vibration of it on the internet, and then you wait to see the results. You don't say, oh, by the way, the thing that I said that I wanted, it's over there. Right. So for you, it, you know what? There's a million sponsor opportunities, and doesn't include a hotel or a car rental. So I think today there's some energy around sponsorship, and I'd like to help you attract your ideal sponsorship expert. Some, there's people out there that do this for a living. They know the language, they know the process, they know the people, and for, that's part, you know, we, we talk about letting go. This is what the letting, the letting go is let somebody else, I'm going to let this go and I want you to pick it up. That's what to me letting go means. Let someone else, the ex I learned this in my business. You know, there was a time I was doing my accounting and my bookkeeping and my website stuff, and I was selling books at the back of the room, and I was setting up chairs at seminars, and I thought, okay, I don't like doing all of that, so I get experts to do all of those things. And, it's, and, and I don't tell, when, I, when I hired different people, I didn't say, okay, website designer, I'm going to show you what you need to do. That's why we hire the experts, and the people I have are passionate about everything. So today... I want to help you. What are we going to do with your vibration around sponsorship? We're going to reset it. Bing. We're going to reset it. And why does it need resetting? Because it's not really vibrating that high right now. Right. Oh, there, there's a vibration around it. It's just not the one you want. And I want you to hear this. The only way to get a different result is, no, take your hands off your ears. The only way to get a different result, eh, come here. <laughs> The only way to get a different result is to send a different vibration. If you keep observing what you're getting, you'll keep getting what you're observing. And that's where that whole cycle happens. So we need to break the cycle. I'll say it again. The only way to get a different result is to send a different vibration. And the easiest way to set a different vibration is to press your vibrational reset button. Now, do you have, you have one of these, right? Yes. I want to tell you a quick little story. Last night I was interviewed here in Malaysia on national TV, and I brought a couple books and a reset button. And the, and the interviewer was a very stern interview in the first two or three minutes. And then after, by the end of the interview, she's wearing my reset button on national primetime TV. Yes. Say, say yes if you love that. I think that's awesome. Okay. So we are going to use the oh-so-famous clarity through contrast. And what I mean by that is, we're going to pull out some of the contrasts that you're observing, 
and we're going to get clarity by doing that. Okay. And this is, this is an exercise that everybody can do at home. If you are looking at some of the results in your life and business and relationships and you don't like them, you have the ability to reset them. That's such a joy that we, we can, re, you know, if your computer breaks down, there's a reset button, press it, fix it. If something else breaks down, there's a reset button, press it, fix it. So we're just going to realign some of the vibrations around sponsorships. Okay. So I want you to take a blank piece of paper and at the top of the page write my ideal sponsorship uh, resource. What, what word would you like to use? Resource? Manager, you said, or expert? Uh, expert. Expert. Sponsorship expert. Yeah, sponsorship expert. Now, draw a line down the middle of the page. On the left-hand side, put don't like. Yeah. On the right-hand side, put like. Now, in my book, I call it contrast and then clarity. I'm just changing up the words for people to understand it. Yeah. I want you to pre-number 1 to 10 on the left-hand side. Yeah. Why I do that, I mean, you could do more than 10, but I'm really telling your unconscious mind that I'm expecting 10 things, and that'll help. And if we get more than 10, that's perfect. Now, we know there's things that you already are, are vibrating good about your sponsorship expert, so I want to pull these out. And, and th this could be about the whole process, not Sharon in particular, but just whatever that might be. So it's not a personal thing, even though I said not. So what's the first thing that comes to your head when I say, what's something that you don't like about the sponsorship expert uh, department in your um, flow chart, if we could call it that, in your org chart? Um. <clears throat> that it's not, I mean, I don't feel there's enough time uh, set for that. Like, there is so nobody not in particular working on it full time. So not, so not a dedicated person? Yeah, not a dedicated person. Okay. And if I reword something, it has to feel right for you. I'm just trying to speed up the process. Yeah, that so you don't have a dedicated person. I also heard said that the, not enough time is spent on it. So we're going to yeah. use that as number two. Not enough time spent on it. Yeah. What else don't you like? Um, people, people dropping down, like uh, trying it and then stopping, you know, like not committed and not focused on it. Okay, let's put that. Stop uh, trying it and then stopping. Number four is they're not committed. Like is, is this flaky, you know? Flaky? Flaky. Yeah, so you've been to Paris having all those flaky croissants. That's why you're thinking flaky. <laughs> Let's put down flaky. Flaky. Um, yeah, because they all what go on strike in France, you know. So. Yes. <laughs> what else don't you? Um, Are they hard to find? Is this person yeah. hard to find? Let's put that down. Hard to find. Hard to find. Um, not really expert at it. Like nobody. Not an expert. Yeah. Uh, now cannot with other manage that, others, cannot manage others, or. What does that tell me more about what that means? Because ideally, it's a team, you know. So it's a manager as well. So. Um, Okay, let's it, put that it down. Doesn't work. It's not a t team member. Okay, not a team player. Can we say that team member, team player? Yeah. Not a team member. Player member, yeah. Now, not not just this particular expert, but other experts that you have. What's been some of the contrasts that you've had with other experts? And let's talk about communication, delivery dates. Any any of that stuff? Or is there any old vibes about that? Okay, good. It's just non-existent. Like, really. I mean, I'm really, I, I, I really don't have a good vibe around it. Okay, so not, let's put that number nine. Not a good vibe around the whole process. Um, maybe not. Um, I mean, here, here it's like it needs to be a person, I think, that is spiritual and that is... Uh, um, a good now you're person at the same time, so I guess it could be. I have it maybe that it's difficult to have to combine the two spiritual okay. and good salesperson. So difficult to find spiritual. Any other word you want to use? Spiritual person. Um, 
spiritual Con sales per I mean, it's not a sales, but it, you know, it's sponsorship person. A spiritual expert that's in alignment, right? Yeah. And um, I also have it that that if it, they need um, like ongoingly somebody behind like their like as soon as I leave the country, everything drops. Like that's how I feel. Like if there is nobody really behind all the time, that person is just not accountable. Or would it be say that they need too much supervision from you, yeah. too much direction? So let's, number eleven is need too much direction. Yeah. Oh, I just got an I just got an email from your doctor, your vibrational doctor. <laughs> <laughs> And your test results are in for your vibration around the sponsorship expert. Oh. Is it okay if I get the results over the air? Yeah. Dear Lulu, we're pleased to present you with your ideal sponsorship expert vibrations. Because you went and got your vibe tested, right? Here's your vibes around your expert. They're not dedicated people. They're not a time spent on it. Uh, they're, they try it and they stop it. They're not committed. They're flaky. They're hard to find. They're not an expert. They're not a team member. They're not have a good vibe. They're difficult to find. They need too much direction. They're not spiritual. That's your vibe. Is that? Did you know that's your vibe? So do you have a button handy? Uh, now, no. As the doc, I'm going to suggest a, a remedy. It's called the Michael Loger reset button. Would you be willing to take that pill? I'm going to use yours. Okay, press my button. Okay. <laughs> okay, so do you understand my point here? I'm going to hold this up. This isn't what you want, but this is what you're vibrating. Yeah. Now I want to go from what you're vibrating to what you want. And what's the, what's the question that I'm going to ask you? I know that you, you know it. I know that you know it. I know that you know it. What do I want if I don't want a not dedicated person? Yeah, if you... That's right. You keep attracting experts that are not dedicated. What do you want? I want a dedicated person. Yes. A cross off not dedicated. Um, they're not spending enough time on it. They're not committed by time. So what do you want? You want they them have, to what? They have time. They have an abundance of time. Or they are fully focused on this. So they have time to commit and fully focused. So the nice thing about this clarity section is that you can do two or three clarities for one contrast. You, so we said they're, they don't spend enough time on it, and we birthed two clarity. One was we want them to commit the time, and we want them to be fully focused. Boy, that's effective. So, I yeah. so they, try it, they try it, and then they stop. So what would you like? They take off. <laughs> they, 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 um, they, they succeed. They take off. They succeed in their perseverance also. Okay, so they succeed. Can we use the word maintain? They what? They maintain the energy? Yeah. Okay. They take off, they succeed, they maintain the energy on the project. And I'm going to add something else. And they're driven. Oh, yeah. They're driven to reach the goal. Say yes if you love that. I love that, Michael. Yes. Okay. They're not committed. So what do you want? Fully committed. Fully committed. They're flaky. What do you want? They're reliable. No, they're accountable. Yeah, they're, re they're well, Let's use both words. They're reliable. They're accountable. They do what they say they're going to do. Would that be okay if you added that? Yeah. Yeah, that's what integrity means to me, when you do what you say you're going to do. Do what they say they are going to do. Oh, I also want to tell you another little secret. As I'm working through this process for you, I'm sending the vibration of this clarity. And law of attraction doesn't know I'm doing it for you. It's picking up on the vibration. So I'm, I'm kind of borrowing the benefit of supporting you because now I'm, I'm resetting my vibration around people that on my team. So law of attraction doesn't say, oh, he's doing it for Lelo. It's like, oh, Michael Loche is sending the vibration about this kind of expert. I've noticed so that because I did that for my friend Anne Sophie around men. After you talked yeah. to me when we had our first conversation here in Chicago at the Karen's restaurant, and I did it with my friend, uh, with my friend Anne Sophie, and since then I resetted my whole vibe around men. 
Yes. And I'm now because celebrating lots. each time as, as close and closer the, the matches are. And it's I, I'm very much the past few months now, I mean, two months or whenever it was, you know, total different vibe around it. And that was for nice. her. Yeah, law of attraction doesn't know it was for her. You know, in my seminars, I always joke about that. What you know, people say, "Can can you vibrate for somebody else? Wouldn't that be a beautiful job?" One eight hundred. What's your what vibration do you want? <laughs> but in my when I help somebody reset their vibes, I'm actually setting the vibration. So I've kind of committed not to help people attract babies to their life because wow. law of attraction would not be for them. <laughs> you don't want babies, Michael? No, thank you. I like my life the way it is. Uh, so they're hard to find. So what do you want? Um, they're hard to find. They're, they come to me and easy to find. They're easy to find. They're not an expert. What do you want? But also, you know, they're easy to find and they come to, they contact me. Okay. They're easy to find and find you. Yeah. So they're not an expert. What do you want? Expert. They're not a team member. What do you want? Team member. They don't have a good vibe. What do you want? They have an awesome high vibe. <laughs> okay, awesome high vibe. Um, they're spiritual. Uh, they're not spiritual. They're spiritual. Spiritual. Uh, and they need too much direction. They need too much Lilu direction. What would you like? They're... Uh independent and aligned with the vision like they're they fully get it because you know can we use the word self-directed in other self -directed, words self-directed but with, within the vision too like they get that that's right they would come to you and say okay Lilo, i'm going to take over this project i'm going to do this this and this and this i'm going to check with you about this and then i'm going to go phase two and then i'm going to check with you all through the process because i know what i'm doing and i can get this done say yes if you love that yes now, uh, for you and for everybody, I want you to take this Clarity Through Contrast worksheet, fold it over. Yay, folding, folding. Because we, and I just want you to look at the, 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 uh, the clarity. Oh, just wait, I have a knock on my door. You know who it is? It's the courier. They're delivering your new vibration <laughs> around sponsorship. Yay! Can you read it to me? What, should, what is your ideal expert? My ideal expert is dedicated, has time to commit to this project, is fully focused, succeeds and take off, maintain the energy, uh, driven to reach this goal, is fully committed, accountable, reliable. They say what they say they would do, they're going to do. They're easy to find and they find me. They're expert, team members, awesome, high vibration, spiritual, and self-directed. Awesome. I think your video stopped at my end. Is it still running on your end? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, give me a high five on that. High five. High fiving. Uh, so here's what we just did. We uncovered your vibration around sponsorship. How did we do that? Well, the words you use and the thoughts you think cause you to send a vibration. We uncovered the contrast or the negative vibration by building the list of what you didn't want. We asked the oh-so-famous question, so what do you want to come up with the list? So here's some testing questions for you. Even though, we were, even though we're pretty conscious about being negative, it was okay to build this list because we did it briefly. It really only took about two minutes. It's okay to give something negative attention briefly. Because now we use that information to help you get clear. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of this exercise is called clarity, to help you identify your desire. So would you say that this worksheet helped you identify your ideal sponsor? Uh, sponsor expert, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's, there's no promise of attracting it because this is step one. Step one says, what is my ideal sponsor? You've done that. Would you also say that the vibration has changed when you went from what you didn't want to what you did want, do want? Did the vibration change? That's right. Now, remember the vibrational bubble? Your job is to take the, so this is my bubble. Your job is to take the vibration and include it inside your current vibration. Now, how do you do that? Many ways. You can talk about it, write about it, uh, get a little bus about it. You can, um, you can visualize, you can make a macaroni collage, you can tell 10 friends, you can, whatever you need to do, you need to include the vibration of the way you want it to be. 
That's step two. Step two is I need to give it attention. And step three is I need to allow it, which means removing the doubt that it's possible. The best way to remove doubt is to find proof. So I want you to type this out and keep it as a little checkoff list. And everybody that you talk to and everybody you meet, go back to your list and say, hey, I just met somebody. Now, that might not be your sponsor expert, but I want you to prove that you're lining up your energy to attract people like this. And you'd say, wow, I just met somebody and they're, wow, they like to take off and succeed and they're committed and they're reliable. I love that. That's, that matches the vibrations I just submitted. They are here because of me. I created that. And in your excitement about proving it, you're including that in your vibrational bubble. Now, last time we had a conversation, <clears throat> we, excuse me, <clears throat> we did a little bit of EFT. Do you remember what the subject was? Um, uh, that I'm worth, uh, that I'm uh, worth being paid for what I do. Yeah. And tell me, is there anything that changed for you around that? Yeah. Was there any evidence yeah. that, yeah, do you want to tell me about that, what, what that was? Yeah, because uh, now I'm really clear about that. Like, I really, one thing is that I really want all the interviewees and, and, and the people that I'm attracting are, you know, in alignment with exchanging whether money or, you know, th their, their service. I mean, there is this really, this, 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 this uh, aligned exchange. And, and I have received actually many emails from people wanting, um, you know, be to be interviewed, and I re often receive them. High fiving again. High five. Thanks. Now, um, and people are grateful for this opportunity, and I really get that. If I'm aligned with interviewing this person and what they do, it helps them. You know, it helps others. You know, around this topic, then then that's that's wonderful. And nice. I, I, I mean, I've sent really many. You know many proposals or many yeah and i haven't confirmed yet i'm in the process of confirming people but yeah. and and also what's wonderful is that i took it the step above because there's some people that send it from california or from london or you know from uh, around places around the world and i said i can also do this in person you know this is yeah. possible this means that you, you take care of my flight from wherever i am at the time of the hotel this is the price for for an interview in person, a bit higher than per webcam, but you know, obviously, I mean, the quality and the interview is awesome. So listen to you. I love your confidence. It, yeah, it, uh, totally. I mean, I'm really, I really got it. I really got it. It'd be nice to see a side by side video. Here is the old Ulu. Oh, I can't charge money. And now, now your whole confidence is different. So there's like a before and after, and. That's because of EFT, and I know that you resisted a little bit. But I did, I did, and I have, and I, ha and I have been. I mean, resisting that for a long time, um, and I have done it here and there. But now I'm resetting, and I feel like it's resetting. You know, it's a process to go through because this has happened for so long that now I'm, I'm each time I'm sending it, it's like a reaffirmation to the universe. You know, this is what I want now. This is, I want people and interviewees to be aligned with that, recognize that, be proud of, you know, the interview, that helping them and helping others, you know, the, the full, the full Monty, the full thing that we talked about last time. Would you say you attracted me that's in alignment to your reaching your goals? Yes, I have attracted Michael Lozier. Nice clapping. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick EFT session. It's going to take 1.2 minutes. <laughs> what's, the, what's the little pucker about? Well, I mean, yeah, it feels strange yeah. each time I do that stuff, but, you know, I did okay. it last we'll time. Two, we're going to do two tappings. Tap here. Even though it feels strange... Even though it feels strange. <laughs> and I'm a little bit uncomfortable. And I'm a bit uncomfortable. Every time I'm asked to do EFT. Every time I'm asked to do EFT by Michael Lozier. I completely and deeply. I completely and deeply. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though I feel a little uncomfortable. Even though if I feel a little uncomfortable. A little strange. And a little strange. And I have the habit of puckering my lips when I feel uncomfortable. Uh, puckering my lips to show that I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> completely and deeply love and accept myself. I completely and deeply love and accept myself. 
They tap right here. Releasing this discomfort about doing EFT. Releasing this discomfort about doing EFT. Releasing this uncomfortableness about doing EFT. Removing this uncomfortableness about EFT. Releasing this feeling. 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 Collarbone. Releasing this feeling. Releasing this feeling. Your arm, releasing this discomfort about doing EFT. About releasing the comfort of doing EFT. Under your arm now, releasing this discomfort about doing EFT. Releasing this discomfort about doing EFT. Yeah, releasing this discomfort about doing EFT. Releasing this discomfort about doing EFT. So much so. So much so. If Michael asked me to do it in a restaurant, I'll say yes. That Michael asked me to do it in a restaurant, I don't know if I will say yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I know you trust me. Uh, you know what? I, I, my friends and I, we do that right in the middle of the restaurant. doesn't matter where we are. Okay, we're going to do one more. I'd like you to prepare yourself. Tapping. Even though I have a little bit of doubt. Even though if I have a little bit of doubt. About attracting my ideal sponsor expert. About attracting my ideal sponsor expert. And I don't even know where they're going to come from. And I don't even know where they're going to come from. So I have doubt about that. So I have doubt about that. I completely and deeply. I completely and deeply. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though I have a little bit of, even though I have a little voice in my head. Even though if I have a little voice in my head. That's trying to figure out where it's going to come from. That is trying to figure out how it's going to come from. And that I'm even doubting that I could attract my ideal sponsor expert. I'm even doubting how I can attract my ideal sponsor expert. I completely deeply love and accept myself. I completely and deeply love and accept myself. More time. Even though I have a little voice in my head. Even though if I have a little voice in my head. The voice of doubt. The voice of doubt. That's sabotaging my desire. That is sabotaging my desire. To attract my ideal ex sponsor expert. To attract my ideal sponsor expert. I completely and deeply love and accept myself. I completely and deeply love and accept myself. I'm going to do one more. Even though I, I know. Even though I know. That my negative thought. That my negative thought. Is sabotaging the delivery of my manifestation. Is sabotaging the delivery of my manifestation. Completely and deeply love and accept myself. I completely and deeply love and accept myself. Inside the eyebrow. Removing this doubt about attracting my ideal sponsor expert. Removing this doubt about attracting my ideal sponsor expert. Removing this doubt. Removing this doubt. Yeah. Removing this little voice that says it's not possible. Removing this little voice that says it's not possible. Removing this voice that's trying to figure out where it's going to come from. Removing this little voice is trying to figure out where it's going to come from. Removing this feeling of doubt. Removing this feeling of doubt. Collarbone, removing this feeling of doubt. Removing this feeling of doubt. Under your arm. Removing this feeling of doubt. Top of your head. Removing this feeling of doubt. Okay, very good. You're done. <sighs> Read me your ideal uh, sponsor expert list again, please. My ideal... It Sponsor this is like, it's like a vibrational, a vibrational uh, job posting. Here's my vibrational sponsor. Expert is okay. dedicated, has time to commit to this project, is fully focused on it. But not just that, but succeeds and takes off, maintain the energy, is driven to reach this goal, is fully committed, Accountable, reliable, they even say what they want, they say when they are going to do it. No, they say what they say they are going to do. That's not it. They do what they say they're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're easy to find and actually find me. Yeah. He and she and they are experts, team members, awesome, have awesome high vibrations, spiritual and self-directed. Okay, very good. I, I felt more confidence that time. In my book, and under step two, I have a process called the desire statement. So I'm just going to create it right now from the top of my head, and you might want to go back and type it out. Would that be okay? Yeah. 
Okay. I'm in the process of attracting whatever I need to do, know, or have to attract my ideal sponsor expert. I love the thought of knowing that my ideal sponsor expert is dedicated, commits the time, and is fully focused. I'm excited at the thought of my ideal expert will take off and succeed and maintain the energy that needs to be successful in this project. I love the thought of my ideal expert reaching their goals and fully committed in doing so. I love knowing that my ideal expert is reliable, accounting, accountable, and they do what they're going to say they do. I'm excited at the thought that they are easy to find. Matter of fact, they find me. My ideal expert is a team player. My ideal expert is awesome, has good vibrations. And I love knowing that my ideal expert is spiritual, independent, and self-directed. Law of attraction is in the process of unfolding this now. Ooh, I like that little sentence. Yes. Law of attraction... Is in the process of unfolding this now. I mean, that's what that's what the law is. If you just gave this attention, energy, and focus in a positive way or an impositive way, you just gave attention, energy, and focus. You included in your bubble, knowing that law of attraction is unfolding anything that you just launched the vibration for. Then this becomes a true statement. I just want to touch on this is not an affirmation, even though I'm using the word "not," because here's an affirmation: I have my ideal sponsor expert. That is a proper affirmation, but it's not true. And a little voice in your head says, well, that's not true. So in my book, I talk about why affirmations don't work for a lot of people because we're taught to tell people that it's, we're taught to tell ourselves that it's true when it's not true. But now you can say this. I love knowing that my ideal expert is committed and takes time and fully focused. You're not saying that you have that now. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you bored with me? <laughs> Oh, I lost your voice. I said it's good to hear it again. Yes. So you could say, uh, I love knowing that my ideal expert is dedicated and fully functional and loves working with me. And now you're saying that my ideal one. You're not saying that you have it or not, but that allows you to say a true statement. And that allows you to keep inside your vibrational bubble. And that allows law of attraction to find the vibration that you're sending of the way you want it to be. So now your job over the next week or until we talk again or for the rest of your life is to notice things that you're attracting that are in alignment to what you gave attention to today and point at everything and say, that's here because of me and that's here because of me and that's here because of me. You created that. Matter of fact, everything that's that you're... That's here because of me. Woo, that I'm is. actually spinning. Look at that. Woohoo! And I'm sure the woman that did it, if it was a woman, I think you said, she had a lot of fun building that. That's so marvelous. she also... Barbara, hey Barbara, thanks. It looks awesome. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was fun. This is this is like vibrational vitamins first thing in the morning for me. I'm is just starting my day here. And I'm good. good. I had fun today. Thank you. Did you reach your goal today? Yes. I mean, is this I what you want to accomplish? Alignment, and right now the law of attraction is actually in the process of unfolding all this for me right now. Mm-hmm. I get oh, that. No, those are great little, uh, I mean, it's not little, it's, it's, I think we all need this to be reminded and to reset our vibrations. Yes. You know, that remember, it's a three-step process. Step number one, what do you want? Step number two, give it attention. And step number three, you need to uh, prove it, which helps remove the doubt, which creates the allowing part. So you've done step one, that's done. You've done step two by giving it attention. And now your job is to keep noticing that you're in alignment to all of this and keep celebrating and proving it. Proof and evidence helps remove doubt. Plus the EFT was very helpful as well, even if you don't think it was. So thanks for being vulnerable today. I know lots of people are going to get uh, great value in today. People are going to be doing clarity through contrast. Yeah. And it's because of you. It's because of your commitment to share this that a lot of people are going to get this so that's very exciting i love knowing that and uh, and also i just want to apologize for the quality of the webcast i know that it's, that it's a bit blurry today especially right. yeah. but it's I think the content people, so yeah people are going to appreciate and love the content and they'll get by the, the blurriness yeah thank you michael you're welcome i know you're catching up on your sleep zone yeah a little bit yeah I'll However, be doing that. There is, some, there is a Jolene that is from the UK that is here, so I'm going to go out a little bit. It's only 8 p.m. here. Okay. Good. So, okay. 
Greetings from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Oh, much love. Next time I'm home, I'll be calling you from uh, beautiful Victoria, BC. Oh, you must miss it. Uh, I miss it so much. I miss my house. I miss my car. I miss my friends. Yeah. Is there dinner Starbucks or do you get Starbucks here? No, there's Starbucks here, so I've managed to find Starbucks. But you know what I'm having challenges attracting? Are salads. Oh, really? Salads, yeah. So uh, I've been buying some little green capsules, you know, to supplement not eating as much vegetables as I've been doing. So I'm catching up on my uh, good eating and uh, exercise routine. Were you doing great, great things from Malaysia? Thank you. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Thanks for all your happy posts and acknowledgement on the website. They bring me lots of joy. Thank You're you, all, Michael, uh, for your expertise and making a difference and choosing to okay. do this. Drive that bus. Yes! I'm off! <laughs>